In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ventoy, V-E-N-T-O-Y, to any USB stick and turn it into a multiple boot USB drive. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Ventoy.net. This will bring you here. Click on Downloads. If you're on Windows, there's your link. Click on this one for Linux. I'm going to show you how to do it for Linux. I already have it. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to extract it. And once you've extracted it, just go into that main folder. You're looking for ventoy to disksh I'm going to go into Terminal. You can also do this. I'm going to do this for you not KDE users. Go into, I have it in downloads, CD, Linux, give me a, give me that, Ventoy, well, CD into Ventoy, dash 1.0.13. And the Ventoy to disk.sh is what you're looking for. Once you've got that, you're going to make sure, make very sure of where your USB drive is. You can write over your hard drive. Warning, you can write over your hard drive. So we're going to do a sudo fdisk-l for list. Right here's my USB stick, USB disk, right here. 14 gigabytes, not my backup drive, not my main drive. So I need dev SDC. So I'm going to do another directory so I can get to that. Now, I'm going to sudo ventoy to disk. No, I already messed that up. sudo dot forward slash that makes it run now do ventoy to disk dot sh going to dash i dash i for install and then i'm going to specify the dev dash sdc that is listed here for my usb stick it's going to say are you sure that is going to be lost and it's going to say it again to make sure you know that that is going to be lost And there's your Ventoy. So we're going to open that up in a file manager. That's all you see. It has renamed the thumb drive to Ventoy. Now all you have to do is put ISOs on it. That's it. Just grab your ISOs. You can grab as many as you want to, as many as you need to. And you can yank them all over. I, however, that does take a, a few minutes to do all that copying. I'm going to yank this one out and put this one in. I already have one in here. And I have these three on it. So when I boot to this USB drive, I'm going to get a menu that looks a lot like this. When you boot up, you get the Ventoy and you get each one that's on there. You click the one, you down arrow and click, you know, push enter on the one that you want. And that's the one that loads. I have six USB drives laying on my desk. All of them have a boot image. Now I only have to have one. I only have to have one. I can label it Ventoy so I know exactly which one it is. And that's the only one that I need to have. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Ventoy. And yes, it does work with Windows ISO. So far, it's worked with any distribution that I've tried on it. I have not tried BSD as of yet. That's all. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.